I want to talk about who vexed the nation. You can turn to uh, Second Chronicle, chapter fifteen, and verse five and six. See, God is the one that vexed the nations. There's a lot of people that don't know that. You know, cause those nations to be irritated to fight war. You know, it's like about the terrorists they put in Donald Trump putting on a murder nation. It caused it to be irritated, you know. All right, verse 5, it says, Second Chronicle, chapter 15 and verse 5. And, and in those times, there was no peace to him that went out, nor to him that came in, but great vexation were upon were upon all the inhabitants of the countries. You see? And verse six says, and nation was destroyed of nation, and city of cities. For God did vex them with all adversity. You see? God the one that vexed the nation, irritate the nations. You see? There's a lot of people that don't know that. See, make those nations to be irritated, disple displeasure, and be in anger. You know, just like Canada now is coming against the United States. You know, about the terrorists. They're putting on you, Donald Trump put terrorists on Canada and the other nation, China and all those other nations. It'd be like a trade war. See, the nation causing them to be irritated, you know, causing anger and stuff like that. And all that created war in the long run, you know. So, but that's God's doing because the people don't want to repent for their sins. And this is the problem, you know. They want to keep doing evil. You see how the American people, they are divided now, you know. Democrat divided against the Republican, the Democrat filled with hate against the Republican. You know, we had never seen nothing like that before in our nation. That much hate against one man. All right, but the God is the one that affects the nation. You know, cause to be irritated. But you can read right here, like I'm saying, Second Chronicle, Second Chronicle, chapter 15, and verse five and six. All that's God's doing. I just like what you read about in Matthew chapter 24. But I'm going to read verse 6 again. Right here in 2 Chronicles 15 and 6. And nation was destroyed of nation and city of cities. See? See, the nation was destroyed of nation and city of cities. For God did vex them with all adversity, you see. Adversity mean, adversity mean like a, like unfavorable circumstance, you know. Everything is like unfavorable, just like about trade for them. And it causes a lot of them to be angry, you see. And it puts sanctions on some nation and all that, you see. It's irritate them, causing them to be angry. That's why the Lord says there'll be wars and rumors of war and famine, pestilence, everything. And that's what all that leading to. It was just the beginning and just starting now. That's why I was saying the nation I'm going to turn against nation. And the next thing will be persecution of the saints, you know, like all over the world. It's already happening in some company. I could be in some country, but it could be all over, like in the United States and Canada, Britain, everywhere else. You know. All right, turn to Matthew. See, this goes to Matthew chapter 24. See, this is a lot of people can't see a lot of things, you know, because they don't study God's Word. They don't want to get our understanding. They don't search the Scripture. 
Matthew chapter 24 and verse 7. It's the same thing what I, I read in the second Chronicles chapter 15 and verse 5 and 6. See, what nation destroyed of nation. See, that's why the Lord said it right here in Matthew chapter 24 and verse 7. For nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be famine and pestilence and earthquakes in diverse places, you see, as God's doing. See, just like what you read about in Second Chronicle chapter 15 and verse 5 and 6, all this was God's doing. This is what I try trying to show y'all. You know. See, when you fall into sin, this is what's happening. God sent nation after you, you know, make the nation angry, it vex you, you know. Maybe people get the nation get against each other. But all that God's doing because of your sin, they don't want to repent for their, for their sins. That's why all these things are happening. Did you see that uh, the Democrats are acting now? You know, over one man being president in the office. See how they're acting? The country being destroyed, you know, and just to show you, see, but all that's God's doing. They promote homosexuality, transgender, homosexuality, everything, abortion, right, and all that. They promote all that, you know, divorces and remarrying and all that, you know, fornication, lying, corruption. You know, that's why the Lord said it could be like in the days of Lot, in the days of Noah. Days of Noah in the days of Lot. In Noah time, the world was filled with violence and corruption. That's why we hear that all the time in the news, in the news right here in America. It's corruption. All the, in the White House and everywhere else. See, it is to show you, just like homosexuality, like in the days of Lot. See, it's the same thing. In verse 7, I'm going to read it again. It says, For nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be famine, and pestilence, and earthquake, and diverse places. All these are the beginning of sorrows. See, it's just the beginning right now. Like I was saying, nations start rising against nation. And said, then shall they deliver you up, like I was telling you, then the persecution is coming for the saints. That's next. All around the world, persecution is coming for the saints. It's already happening in a lot of places where they're having wars and stuff like that. But we're not having war here yet. You know, but it's coming. You know, be civil war here. That's what all they're leading to. See, you can see if you just pay attention. And it says, then shall deliver you up to be afflicted and shall kill you. See, and they're going to kill you. See how they hate you? The Democrat, how they be hating people? You know, like the lady that's supposed to be in Congress and telling the people not to sell them gas, to, you know, and all kind of stuff, not to you know, feed the people when they go to the restaurant and all that stuff, to kick them out and all that, not to sell them no gas, different things. See, a woman's supposed to be kind, we're supposed to be leader. Now, it's supposed to know better than that. It's like ghetto people, street people, got to talk that type of talk. But I'm just showing you what we are. It's filled with hatred in the land, in America. Now, and it's going to get worse as time goes on. You know, all the Christian people, you know, people want to serve God, they're all going to be hated. That's why Jesus Christ said you're going to be hated of all nations, of all men. This is all coming. I'm just warning the people, this is what's coming. Because they are filled with hate now, you can see it. All right. And say. And verse uh, 10 says, and, and then shall many be offended and shall betray one another. 
and shall hate one another. See? It's what, I, it's what like I'm saying, see, it's starting to show now with the Democrat. How they just hate a man just for nothing. Lie on him, filled with corruption. It's everything. But God put Trump in there for a reason, to bring out all these corruption. To let the whole world see. That's why he is in the office. To bring out the corruption. Say so what's done in the dark will be brought to the light. You know, and they don't understand that. They try to hide it, what they've been doing, but all God is bringing that to the light. That's God.